I'm going to steal the judges. We are going to be back in 20 minutes, and we are going to have the top three teams. So, again, take another 15-minute break, and we will be back. All right, so before we do the feedback and the announce the prizes and everything, uh, one last time, let's give it up for all the presenting teams. Everyone who played several, several hours over the weekend. So with that said, I'm going to ask the judges to come up front. Uh, they're going to give some feedback for everyone, just kind of what their thoughts were on the presentations. Um, and then we will announce the winners. So, so judges, please step up. Come join me up here. I'm just going to give some general feedback in terms of what I personally um, look for um, and there's three things and the first thing I just want to say is the fact that you might not be one of the top three doesn't mean that you should give up there are some great ideas there and the whole point of this exercise is that you guys have got to be deliberate and you've got to be persistent and you've got to continue with um, uh, the work that you're doing but the three things that I, I know that I look for is does the startup or the founder have a personal connection with the problem? Are they profoundly almost um, rooted in the problem and therefore understand it very clearly? The second thing is, is the problem that they're trying to solve critical and blatant as opposed to um, latent and maybe aspirational? Because that attests to how quickly you can get users and how scalable it's going to be. And then the third thing I certainly look at, and certainly in the work that we're doing, for example, with the Golden Angels, is um, it's not necessarily a criteria for this workshop, is, is a, can you prototype and commercialize rapidly? So for all those startups there, firstly, well done, but think of, of those two things, because those are the three things that, are, that mostly investors are going to be looking at. I, would, I guess I would back that up with keep in mind when you when you hear the results that we are judging based on a score sheet, right? So there's ideas that are in the room that were presented tonight that are great, but didn't necessarily meet the criteria that we were judging on. So continue pursuing your ideas. Don't give up just because you were one of the top three tonight. The other thing that I would say is in, when it comes down to pitching and what Manoli was talking about, a lot of it is talking about sharing the story that he was talking about, the, the experience that you had with the, the need and the, the reason you created the company. There may be ideas that are rock solid out here tonight, but we just didn't quite grasp the business model. And so uh, reworking your presentations to help people better understand what the true value to the product is, is going to be huge. I guess that's all I have. I don't have too much more to add. Just um, on the pitches, a few things I thought were missing were just more creative thought on the partnering ideas, either strategic partners or the go-to-market landscape and then you know very few of you put together what the true market landscape was in terms of revenue I mean at least a guess at least using some variables that were well thought out so just trying to put together what how much you think this ultimately once it's at scale could could ultimately bring um, and we you know there are certain revenue models that were maybe one or two things revenue models when we went back in the room we actually could think of a few more so just few more revenue models, you throw out as many as you can because that's how the, the thoughts germinate. So um, we funded um, a number of companies that never even placed in a business plan competition or a fast pitch competition. Uh, notably, Each Street, which has raised two and a half million dollars, lost the borough. They weren't even, they were told that their idea wasn't worth pursuing. Um, they just used it as motivation. So if we've motivated anyone tonight, or if we're about to motivate anyone tonight, that's great. Um, also, uh, and, uh, 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 it's also incredibly hard to present. Uh, some of the companies that will uh, aren't getting an award had nothing to do with their presentation. The presentations I thought were really great. Um, you're welcome to contact um, th uh, these guys. I'll tell you, we watch a lot of pitches at Generator. If you want feedback, you're welcome to email me, Joe at Generator. Um, I can try to offer my feedback. Um, 
Uh, but in general, uh, the, the pitch that we always tell people is opportunity, um, solution, market team. Uh, kind of twist the knife so that people understand the problem. And a couple, um, I couldn't tell, I was telling these guys my paranoia is I just didn't pick up on the opportunity well enough. Um, and the other thing that the teams don't do enough is are you going to pursue this after? Uh, I think it has more of an effect than you might think on people if they know that this is something that's just not a weekend but that you really want to build it. Uh, it kind of clues in not only the judges but the whole room that this is someone who's going to be doing it and you want to help get them that much more resources. But again, if anyone has any more feedback, please feel free to email me and I thought it was remarkable and congrats. It's a great room. Presentations. It was clear in some groups you can't time when the creative idea comes and some came a little late. I think there were some great ideas that came late that you know maybe aren't going to win tonight but are compelling ideas. I think I look for flexibility because even the people that have the most crisp ideas, that business will change a, a lot before it actually goes to market because you just never know where the opportunities are. And then keeping your eye on cash because I'm a boring lawyer, but 95% of the clients that I've seen fail have failed because they've had, they've had great ideas in many cases, they just run out of money. And so really planning carefully the cash part of things, which it's, it's way too early to do that this weekend, but as you develop the model further, that's really very critical. So it was really a great great evening, everybody had great ideas, and like, like Joe said, you know, we're all open to be resources for you as you continue to develop your ideas. So thanks. Thank you, judges. Guys, one more time, let's give a long round of applause for our judges. that said, I also want to take one more second to give recognition to the organizing team. They did an amazing job. Let's hear it for Matt, Alicia, everyone who helped make this event possible. And, uh, man, who had, who had fun this weekend? Anyone have fun? Uh, so if you guys had a good time, you, you like Startup Weekend, you want to get involved, you want to organize an event maybe in your home city or you want to get a part, you want to be a part of the organizing team here, come talk to us, come talk to Matt, come talk to the organizing team. Uh, we're always looking for more volunteers to get involved, so come have that conversation with us. Um, in about two minutes, we're going to do a huge, huge group photo. So after we announce the winners, I need everyone to come up front so we can get a really big photo taken. Um, and we are heading out of here about 15 minutes. We're gonna head to Jackson's, which is a block west that way. So yeah, head over there. Um, so with all that said, let's bring out Matt Cordio to announce the winners. prize tonight that on November 19th we are hosting a follow-up event um, via Startup Milwaukee and that will be at 96 Square, our new co-working space, which by the way for 110 bucks, your new startup can have an office space. So I just want to plug that because now I'm a landlord. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so November 19th, 6 p.m. 96 Square, all are welcome. We're going to give you an opportunity to talk about your progress since the weekend and then give a call out for needs to the community. So that's a great point for you to continue momentum and hopefully build some new businesses here in Milwaukee. Can we get a, a round of applause for that? Yeah. All right. Wow. I turned it up too high. Um, so. We have one honorable mention tonight, and I'm calling it the Milwaukee's best honorable mention because it has to do with beer. And that goes to Brew You. Can the Brew You team come take a bow? So, the next team, I, I bet they're going to want to be bribed to hear that they came in third place. They're, they're going to try to bribe the judges at the last minute, probably, because it's bribe.io. <laughs> and the bribe.io team wins a prize from upscalability. So they get 
access to Manoli's knowledge on how to scale your business, as well as access to Manoli's new software tool um, for 12 months. So congrats, guys. <laughs> Coming in second place, I bought a date, and it's baddates.co. Doing your best customer is now my date free, and I just want to. Congrats, guys. Um, so they win the opportunity to pitch to Generator, as well as consulting services from upscalability and access to the upscalability tool. So now, it's the final prize. Yeah, generator! Who came in first place? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> so, let's sprout some new ideas at Sprout! And Sprouter gets reduced price legal services from Godfrey and Khan and access to upscalability <laughs> and their tool for the next 12 months and the opportunity to pitch to Generator. And a hug from me.